Hello everyone, I'm back today with an empties video. So a few weeks ago I wrote a long post about my empties that I used up last year and that was a pretty lengthy post that I'm sure no one read. I even had trouble reading it. So instead of um, writing another long post about my second batch of empties, I thought it'd be better to do it in a video. So here are my hands. I've got a box of empties. Um, so I think I'll just start off with the most recent products I've finished off, which are the Ever Strong Sulfate Free L'Oreal Shampoos and Conditioners. Um, these were okay. I've tried um, the Ever Pure Shampoos and condi Conditioners for um, colored hair and found that they were pretty much the same thing. Um, they smell the same and they had the same effect on my hair. Um, they made my hair feel strong in the first few weeks of using it, but during the end it was just, just made my hair feel heavy and oily and just wasn't doing its job as well as uh, the first couple of washes. Um, I've actually used the Evercream ones as well, which are really, really nice. Like I would recommend, if you're looking to try out one of these L'Oreal um, Ever range, I would recommend the Ever Evercream one because that makes your hair feel so soft and just it's just so luxurious to use. But uh, the Ever Pure and Ever Strong ones, pretty much the same, and they don't really do anything um, for hair. I don't know. That's the experience I had with it. Um, if you had a different experience with these shampoos and conditioners, I'd love to hear it. But yeah. Oh, and also I don't really like the packaging of uh, these shampoos and conditioners. And uh, considering the amount you pay for them, like, I'll, I'd like a better tube. It, when you get to the end of um, the product, you kind of have to squeeze it out like a tube of toothpaste, and that's not really. I don't know, I don't like squeezing toothpaste out of, like, you know, an almost empty tube of toothpaste. So I, I don't like doing it with the shampoo. So it'd be better, I think, if they had, like, a more firmer, um, you know, packaging. But, uh,. Overall, it's an okay product. I, I wouldn't buy it again. Um, it smells smells really good though. It smells like rosemary and mint, which I like. I'll move on to my next product, which is the Ren Evercalm Gentle Cleansing Milk. I really like this stuff. I'm already on my second tube. Tube? Bottle? I don't know. Uh, I think it's a tube. I don't know. It's, it's something. Um, but I really like this stuff. Uh, I have sensitive dry skin. It's more on the dry side than sensitive, but I find that this is perfect. Uh, it softens my skin and it calms it down when it gets red or just gets angry. Um, I use it every morning and it smells like a dream. I don't know, it kind of smells like lychee. I, and I like lychees. And yeah, it's just a really nice um, cleanser if you have sensitive and dry skin. It's the best cleanser I've ever tried. Um, next product I have is the... What should I do next? The Dove uh, Intensive Repair um, Treatment Mask. I never tried out a mask before, so I was eager just to like try this one out. It was $3 at Priceline, and I thought that was a bargain. Anyway, um, yeah, this is a really nice mask. Every time I'd use it, my hair would feel soft and... Yeah, it's, it's a good mask. I don't know if it's amazing because I, I have nothing to compare it to, but yeah, for the price you pay, it, it, it does work. Like, I think the original price is only like 7 or $6, so yeah, it's a good mask. I like this and I'm actually, I actually have another one of these in my, um, my drawer is just waiting to be used, so yeah. Um, next product I have is the Redken Nature's Rescue Radiant Sea Salt Spray. Uh, again, I have never tried. On now, I'm on like like a different sea salt spray. I'm trying out the Tony and Guy one, which is really nice. But before I tried this one out, I had never tried sea salt sprays. I really like the idea of a sea salt spray, like with the texturing and like I don't know. I love that look of just you know beachy waves. Um, but I don't know if they sell this anymore. I did buy this at the discount rack at Hair, hair House Warehouse. Um, but yeah, it says here it's a time-touch hair 
fragrance and the fragrance of this is really really nice but as a texturizer it didn't really do anything for my hair only if I did um like you know curl my hair beforehand and put this in it did a little bit or something but um yeah it, it wasn't it wasn't amazing um next product I have is the get out of the box it's even at the, at the bottom anyway this is the Body Shop Chamomile Sumptuous Cleansing Butter. Now, I've already written about this um, in a blog post, and I've linked, I'll link it down below if you'd like to have a read. But I really like, I really love this stuff. Um, um, it takes off makeup really well. Um, when you put it on, it kind of just, you can feel your makeup kind of slip off and dissolve it with the butter, and it's nice. Uh, I really like this. Because you have to take it off with a hot cloth. And I've never used a cleansing bar before. And I've heard that this is not like your typical cleansing bar. Because uh, it's got a different texture. But um, yeah, it's just it's really nice to use. It takes off all the makeup. It makes your skin feel nice and soft um, after using it. And I, I would buy another one. Um, next product I have is the... Oh no, gross. I have a bit, bit of the products from my shampoos and conditioners which have leaked out into the box and into the bottom of the of this. Anyway, we'll ignore that. I'll clean it up after. Um, this is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream and um, it's a really good cream. I think if you have I think it's aimed at anyone with like you know, any skin type, but I think it's really good for dry and sensitive. It doesn't sensitive the skin, so it doesn't have a scent to it, and it sinks really nicely into the skin, and it's really nice under makeup, and, um, yeah, I do have troubles picking out, like, you know, new moisturizers, because I do get, um, tend to get breakouts with new products, but this, when I used this, I didn't have any problems. It's a really nice, uh, really nice, um, <laughs> moisturizer. The last product I have is the small size uh, version of the Shea Butter um, Body Butter from the Body Shop. I bought this just to try it out because I don't know, I'm not a big fan of moisturizers for the body. I do like the Garnier one, as I said uh, in my last video, but I don't like feeling tacky and sticky after like showering um but yeah i thought i'd just give it a go because like you know the, the body shop is pretty much known for the body butters and yeah i like i really like the smell of this i bought a like a full size one uh, of this just the other week uh so yeah it was a nice body butter it does make my skin feel you know kind of tacky after using it but you just you just need to let it sink in before you put your clothes on um, it smells brilliant. So those are the empties that I've used up in the past uh, few months. Uh, thank you so much for watching all the way through if you did. I'm sorry if I bored you with my uh, blabbering. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram and my blog on WordPress. And uh, until next time, see ya.